the biggest game ever made. When you start, the map is like this, and you go, damn, this game is big. Then you get teleported to the other side of the map and realize, oh my god, this game is big. Then you get teleported to the top of the map and you go, whoa, this game big. Then you realize there's an entire other world underground and a floating island and a massive city and an entire secret castle. Two of them actually. There are secret zones within secret zones within secret zones. So the absolute highest compliment I can pay this game is to tell you that I have beaten this game four times now. Right out the gate, Jew, we're ripping off Zelda. You literally wake up in a tomb, open a big door, and the game says, go. Oh, no, no holy, it's true. No bullshit, just go wherever you want to go. Except don't fight that guy, and don't go over here because you'll die, and don't follow the beam of light because that's a fucking scam. Elden Ring's gameplay loop is to put a bullshit boss in front of you and say, Okay, now go into the world and find something to chop his head off with. Having a concrete goal, like defeating a scumbag, big boss makes exploration feel that much more meaningful and visually this is a world worth exploring walking around in this game is like stepping inside of a painting there are hundreds upon hundreds of scenic vistas which look impossibly curated and intentional and the spaces in between are populated with an absurd array of creative enemies and bosses. i love that this, this is one of my favorite areas for their enemy design and they are really bringing the heat here not only in sheer quantity but also in terms of moves and variety Penguins is in this game. Doggy statues, doggy wizards, giant lobsters, vampire bats that sing the Halo theme. They got pumpkin head to be in this. Stretchy lizard man. The list goes on and on and on. And you're saying I can't believe they brought Liv Agar into the game, into the Elden Ring universe. That was pretty tight. Donkey, please don't spoil this game for me, but I can't. This game cannot be spoiled because this game does not end. Okay? This is Dark Souls 4. No end credits edition. But what's frustrating about Elden Ring is that for all the effort that has gone into the world and enemies, it feels like they only spent 10 seconds balancing this game. The difficulty in this game is best described as, uh, what is, what is the word I'm looking for here? Uh, uh, t total fucking horseshit. This is an evil game made by an evil has. man, and whoever's job it was to balance the damage scaling on enemies did not show up to work for the entire make <laughs> of this game. Just from saying that, already people are pissed off at me. They're saying, Donkey sucks. I hate you, Donkey. Nitpicking and biased. You only like Xbox, but always remember. <laughs> I've been beat a wild this. man getting life on and track. This you has. is stupid. And I beat Elden Ring one, two, three, four times. Because why? Because I'm. Oh my God! He went and got the finger. I kind of want to go and get that too. I'm the realest gamer of all time, and I say Have it's too hard. Like I am calling this game out. Not because it's a bad game, but because it's an incredible game that is held back by very poor balancing. Many of your deaths in this game do not feel earned, like dying to this stupid shit or losing 70,000 runes to the wonky platforming. So many enemies- I mean, some of that is like classic from software though. Like, the, the platforming especially is just, you know. Dude, who here remembers Demon Souls, the fucking, the flying boss? I mean, half the Demon Souls maps are literally like you have to walk on a string cheese as you have to fight like 11 enemies, all of which uh, do stagger damage and will very easily knock you off uh, string, the string cheese platform that you're supposed to be running on. Yeah, Man Eater is what I was thinking of. Oh, what a boss. Enemies in this game can kill you in one or two hits or kill you with a combo that comes out so fast. Dude! This boss battle I did off stream, Commander Neil, it, it, it was so crazy, bro. It, it was a like crazy hit, boss battle. Or they can stun you into another hit, which also feels like a one hit kill. Or they can just kill you in one grab, straight up. Having super aggressive enemies with crazy combos and unpredictable attacks is the fun kind of difficult. But making those moves hit for your entire health bar is fucking lame and cheap. Rewards. Now, what's fun about Elden Ring's rewards is you never know what you're gonna get. What sucks about that is you end up struggling in a cave for an hour to get a wizard staff that you can't even use. Look at this dude. He cannot actually turn around to attack you. He is worth 3,300 XP. Then you have this guy who can oh. do this. Oh, he can this dude fucking destroyed me. I finally ended up killing him, but 
Again, I think I killed him uh, off stream as well, but this dude was insane this. as well. Or he can say this, and he has this move too. This I hated the knights, dude. Wait, what is that? It's like a is carrion knight, right? Crucible knight, whatever. XP. Only 500 more than the guy who can't turn around. Ow, wow. You think that's fucked up, though? Look at these guys. They're literally sleeping. Watch what happens when I hit L2. I just got 20,000 XP for that. There are so many different weapons and spells and summons and special moves in this game that should make Elden Ring a wonderland for experimentation, but because the upgrade system is so rigid and stingy, you feel discouraged from creating wacky builds. And then on top of that, you have this late game difficulty spike where it feels like your character just got reset back to level one. The <laughs> end game bosses are so brutal and so fast that it ultimately funnels every player into using the same broken builds. It's probably starting to sound like I hate this game, but try to remember. I beat this big ass game four times. Four and a half. Wait, what the fuck? Wait. 67 hours, 55 hours. What? What's up, dude? What's up, brother man? 155 and 67. Oh, dude. Dude, you know, you know he farmed. 16 hours level 102 yeah that's a that's a farm dude <laughs> that's a farm build dude the farm is over i mean i say this as someone who also farmed for the record that's why i know that's why i know he farmed because i farmed takes one to no one call me the farmer's almanac i've been i've been farming i be farming hard he 100 percent. i mean he he was he, he logged on to farmers.com times four and a half actually clearly they did something right games like this are far for the record i unironically believe that you have to farm in this game like people who say like uh people who say like oh skill you don't have skill that's why you farm like it's so big it's so fucking big dude if you just beeline bosses and pois it's about right no no, you can't just beeline bosses without fucking farming uh, to that level. Far and few between, so I want them to get this. Because the runes just... that you get if you don't fucking farm, if you just beeline bosses, especially in the early game, is nothing. Right, and the good news is that most of the problems with Elden Ring can be fixed by one dude with a slider tool. Just turn enemy damage down by 20, you know, 30, 70 percent, and we're back in business. One, two, three. Wait, hold on. I, wanna, I, for, I didn't hear anything he said. No. So I finished the game four thing, times. But try to remember. I beat this big ass game four times. Four and a half, actually. Clearly, they did something right. Games like this are far and few between, so I want them to get this one just right. And the good news is that most of the problems with Elden Ring can be fixed by one dude with a slider tool. Just turn enemy damage down by 20, you know, 30, 70 percent, and we're back in business. One, two, three, four, hey. Most people sure, but have you seen the speedruns? What? I mean, also, the other reason why I farmed uh, was so that, you know, I could maximize the entertainment for you guys that are watching. You know what I mean? Nobody wants to fucking sit through watching me get fucking clapped up over and over again. Someone killed a turtle pope? Yeah, I heard. That shit is fucking brutal. I don't know how the fuck anyone could do that. Honestly, I literally don't know how you could kill the turtle pope. Insane. It's one of the nicest fucking it's one of, it's like a it's like a beautiful character